Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is Silver FX Pro versus On One Photo Raw and what I do to choose between which one I'm going to use to edit my black and white photos. Now, everyone has a different philosophy on how they choose the program that they're going to use to make their edits. I use On One for 95% of my photo editing. Uh, experiences, which is why this channel has a lot of videos centered around On One Photo Raw. But sometimes I do need to go outside of On One Photo Raw, and that's where Silver Effects Pro comes in. Let's go ahead and dive into it. I have opacity controls over every filter I apply. I can't begin to explain how crucial that is when you get into, you know, a couple days worth of editing on an image or an hour or so, and you're just working on this art, right? Uh, or if you just wanna make a really quick adjustment and you wanna mask it into a certain area, that's super, super helpful. The second pro, blending options for every filter I apply. Being able to change my blend modes is probably one of the coolest things that I have seen in a raw processing software. Most of the time, in order to get a blend mode option, you gotta go to a pixel editor, such as Photoshop or Affinity Photo or GIMP, you know, things like that. But having that capability built into On One, I think is a game changer and sets the mark for other raw processors to follow. So the third pro is there are advanced masking options available. Now, in some of the uh, raw processing software like Lightroom. They actually just improved their mask from what I understand watching some of the videos. I don't have Lightroom, so I can't compare. Uh, but the advanced masking options that are available inside of On One with the luminosity mask, uh, when you want to make a fine tune adjustment or the color range mask, uh, you also have the AI auto masking tool. And then you have these tools to refine your mask. All of these things combined make On One just a great contender, which is why I stay inside of it most of the time to get the photo that I want. If you have On One Photo Raw 2022 and you've updated to the point one, then you'll have snapshots. Now, snapshots are a great way of testing and troubleshooting to see what works and what doesn't work. Snapshots are a huge bonus for On One Photo Raw so I can just troubleshoot and test out different presets, different uh, categories, things of that sort. Now, there are some cons to using On One Photo Raw. It's time consuming. Uh, what I mean by that is, in order for me to get the effect that I get out of another application, if the time frame takes longer for me to get it out of that application, then I have to ask myself, is it worth it? The next one is varied looks. I don't have a consistent look every single time that I make a black and white. Even when I start with a preset, uh, it gets me close, but it's still very, very different. Now, obviously lighting conditions are going to change this, but uh, because there's so many options of ways that I can edit the photo, the varied looks really do become more and more of a pronounced thing for me. Now, every photo editing application gives you the capability or the opportunity to over-process your image, but it is easy to over-process your image in On One Photo Raw uh, because there's so many filters and sometimes uh, my, I get carried away and, you know, I can over process my image. If I'm using a dedicated app like Silver Effects, it's a little bit less likely that I'm going to over process the image, uh, even though there are tons of features inside of Silver Effects. Uh, I'm just not likely to over process in Silver Effects. Now, before I go into the pros of Silver Effects, I have to mention, this has been a phenomenal piece of software for a very long time, and they have refined their algorithms to a point that uh, there is a certain aesthetic to using silver effects that you don't get out of Lightroom or any of the other uh, programs that are on the market. Silver Effects, it's dedicated to making black and white images. And when you use anything that's dedicated to do something, 
it usually does a little bit better. Having the zone system available is just an awesome feature and it really lets you fine tune where you're working. I would love to have that inside of On One, but it's not there, all right? The second pro is control points. By placing these anywhere on the image, you can go through, make your edits, make your adjustments, and it's only going to target the like tones that the point is over and you can expand or uh, retract where this actually goes to. You can duplicate these, you can make multiple versions of them. Uh, it's really a way of fine tuning your image and you could spend a lot of time getting right into the, the nooks and crannies of all of this. Let's talk about the cons of Silver FX Pro. My first con in Silver FX is you don't really get control over the opacity of the adjustment. So it's a different editing mindset. You actually have to make sure that each one of the areas that you're adjusting from exposure to contrast to fine uh, structure and detail and all that stuff, you're actually just moving those sliders and you have to move them enough to the point that it's blended in the image well. You don't get the opacity option like you do with On One where you can make your effect really, really high and then pull down on the opacity slider to blend it into your image a little bit more feather it if you need to. My second con is it's time consuming to mask and adjustments. Those U points will really eat up your time if you uh, are trying to fine tune your image. Unlike the masking tool where you can just brush in uh, the mask inside of On One. What makes me choose one program over the other? I choose Silver Effects if I'm looking for a more contrasty, darker black image uh, that isn't overly processed, but it looks nice and I want micro detail inside of the image. I use silver effects, uh, because I can get that look really, really fast. If I'm just going for a black and white image and I want to make it, uh, look nice and presentable and shareable, then I use on one. It really does go down to if I want to be overly artistic then I'm going into silver effects. And if I want to be very simple in my approach, then I use on one. There are some photos that I have edited inside of on one that I would consider to be more aesthetically pleasing than silver effects. So I don't want you to think that silver effects is just better than on one. And if you don't have silver effects, then you need to go out and buy it. Choose the tool that you think would work. Now, if you want to pick up a copy of silver effects, I think you should go for it. I will always recommend Silver Effects just because it's a dedicated black and white photo processor. Let me know in the comment section which one you like, Silver Effects Pro or On One Photo Raw. If you want to see me editing a black and white photo inside of On One, click the video at the top. And if you want to see some more content from the channel that YouTube thinks is best for you, click the video on the bottom. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.